morning, everyone. Dixie, I've known you since you were a teenager. I can read you like an open book. Now, I can help you, I think, if you'll help, if you'll let me. It's Junior. I know you say you love him, but I watch you, you know? I know you're chasing after Liza. That has nothing to do with, with my feelings for Junior. Oh, really? You know, well, what happens, you know, after she has her child? Nothing. Nothing will change. Oh, really? Look, Adam, you two are going to get together, right? And then you're naturally going to want to be a part of her, her, her child. And what about Junior? What happens to him then? You're gonna be all wrapped up in the baby. I know you. You're not gonna have any time for him. You're gonna forget all about him. How can I? How can I possibly forget about him? He's my only son. As far as I'm concerned, the, the world, the sun rises and sets on that boy. I would do anything for him. Nobody is going to replace him in my heart. Really? Not Liza's baby, no. Nobody. I really hope you mean that. I swear to you on my sister's grave. Dixie, you, you had Junior very young. You have a lot of years to, to watch him grow and, 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 and get married and raise a family of his own. But I'm a lot older than you are. And I may not be so fortunate. But I'll tell you one thing. Having Junior has made me want to savor every minute of every day. Because you never know when it can all be taken away from you. I want to make every moment count. I want Junior to know me through and through because when I'm gone, I want him to know who his father was. They grow up so fast. It's, uh, it seems just yesterday he was a baby. He's just a little boy. He's a little boy who needs his father. He has his father. I'm going to be the best father I can to him until the day I die. You have my word for that. I have no idea how much I want to believe that. Because he's going to need you so much. Why, Dixie? <laughs> Are you going somewhere? Why don't you just have a seat right here? All right. Let's have a seat. What happened to you? Well, I, I, got, I got a bump of, Ow! Oh, I got a bump on my sorry. head. How did this happen? Uh, how did it happen? That, that's a long story. A long story you don't want to talk about. Right. All right. <sighs> How many fingers? Three. Squeeze my hand. Good. Uh, your vision seems to be okay. Any fragmentation that you had no, before? No, I think it's fine. He's gonna be okay. Yeah, I think he's gonna be fine. I still want to order some tests to be on the safe side. Oh, oh come CT. on, Jay, please, 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 please. Come Considering on. the fact you had a coma for a couple of weeks, I think it's a good idea. No, tell you, he's right. Head injuries are nothing to mess with. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna go order those tests. I'll be right back. Okay. Thanks, thanks Jake. Mm-hmm. How'd you happen to show up at Linden? Jillian called me and told me that you needed help. <laughs> it's very considerate of her, considering she's the one who knocked me out. And Haley's still protecting them. Right, so. I don't get it. I'm sorry. I, I just don't get that woman at all. 
All righty, Hi. let's get you down to x-ray. You know, Jake, what if I just come back tomorrow, okay? I'd like to lay down, get some rest. My, my head it really Your hurts. head, your head, exactly. That's why we're running these tests. Yeah, Mateo, it's better safe than sorry. Just get it done now, okay? Okay. I just need a little <clears throat> information first. What kind? The dress insurance company. Well, I, I was a patient here last winter. It should be in the computer. I need to update it. You know what? Why don't you go ahead and I'll take care of it, okay? Yeah, right, sit. Okay, a, a chair, I need yeah, a, chair. a chair. exactly. Enjoy. Oh. Oh. All right, just a second. Thank you. Are you a relative? Yes, um, I'm his wife, Mrs. Santos. So any questions that you or the doctors might have, just come ask me, okay? Are you Dixie? Are you going away somewhere without Junior? Dixie? You okay? Uh, yes. I'm fine. I'll be out in two minutes. Okay. Dixie. Are you? Well, of course. I'm, I'm going away. I'm going to Uncle Palmer's. And I'm going to take Junior with me, all right? I'm just really dirt tired. Yeah. All right, why, why don't you leave Junior here tonight? That way you can go right to bed and right to sleep, and I'll have some more time with my son. Okay. I'm gonna go tuck him in. I'll be right back. All right. Take your time. I hope your husband feels better. Thank you. Hi, Pine Valley Police Department? Yes, I was wondering if I could leave a message for one of your prisoners. Oh, oh, good, good. Um, her name is Haley Chandler. No, no, not Santos. Chandler. Yes, tell her that Mateo is in the hospital, but not to worry. Tell her that Raquel is by his side and she won't leave. No. No, 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 that's it. Yes, well, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Hey, looks like you've got a message. Thank you. Okay, Junior's all tucked in, and I'm out of here. Okay, thank you. Could you make sure that Lucretia packs him a lunch? I'm gonna pick him up and take him to school in the morning. Yeah, of course. Good night. Good night. Sleep well.
still have the touch. Well done, Miss Be quiet. So, that's a new negligee, huh? Be quiet, please, then. Oh, I it. like it. Mm. Did it. Mm. Quit what? It. That. Yes. My father's opening the door for They're almost gone. Wonderful. Dad. They're gone. Good. Well, um, let's have some wine, okay? How about that? Wine? Yeah, it, it's really good. I, I, I chilled it. That's great. We can drink it upstairs. Well, no, I, I think that we should drink it down here. Liza, what's wrong with you? Why won't you just relax? I really don't understand why you're so afraid. I don't know. Look, Liza, I, I'm sorry. I, I know it's your first time, and I know that you're frightened, but I swear you'll, you'll, you'll love it. Look, it's not that. It's... What? You went to the doctor, didn't you? Then what are you worried about? Dad, I want it to be meaningful. It will be. I promise. Dad, will you please tell me how much you care for me? Liza, you're starting to sound like a broken record. Oh, please. Please, I need to hear it right now. No. No, you don't need any wine. You don't need any more talk. What you need is me. You're not falling asleep, are you? Dad? Huh? What? You're not falling asleep, are you? I want to talk. Fine, go ahead, talk. What do you want to talk about? What was it like for you? What was it, what was it like? What do you mean, what was it like? It was great. No, I mean, was it, what is it, was it as special for you as it was for me? Don't analyze it. I hate that. Don't you want to know how I feel? Dad? Yeah, yeah, how do you feel? I feel different. I really feel different. That's nice. You know, I, I feel like, like a woman. I feel like somebody who finally understands all the mysteries of life. Great. Was I really all right? Liza. No, I mean, I know I'm ex inexperienced, you know, and I, and I was very, very scared. I really was. But you were right, Tad. It was very, very special. Mm. can't move. You are wonderful. Uh, you really are. Do you want something? Do you want some wine? No, no wine. Well, and aren't you thirsty? No, nope. I gotta get going. Dad, don't leave now. Liza, it's late. I gotta get going. How can you leave after the most incredible experience of my entire life? And you thought it wouldn't be meaningful. Just stay, please. Just for one glass of wine. Liza. Please. Who knows? Maybe we'll get inspired again, huh? What about your parents? They're at the chateau. They're not going to be home for hours. Yeah, well, I don't want to take any chances for your sake. Oh, come on. Mother loves to dance. And so does Daddy. Mm -hmm. They'll probably not be home till dawn. It's too risky. Come on. Please. I want you to stay. Please. Hmm? 
Enjoy this. It's been nice getting to know you. <laughs> <laughs>